Welcome to another exciting episode of the Daily Dose of Drupal. And oh boy, do we have a good one for you today. But before we get started, you can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also go to CodeKarate.com and sign up for the CodeKarate.com newsletter, which is right here if you're on the CodeKarate.com website. But today, we are going over the Path Breadcrumbs module. And I, as a, coming from a personal, ex, you know, personal example, I've struggled with breadcrumbs on a lot of Drupal 6 sites, definitely including a lot of large Ubercart websites e-commerce websites and they can definitely be a headache and this is a Drupal 7 module that as far as I can tell seems to solve almost all the problems that I used to have with breadcrumbs in Drupal 6 so we're gonna go over just a basic example because this module has a lot of hidden little features that you can really dig in and spend a lot of time on but we're gonna go over a very simple example here and show you how the path breadcrumbs module can just save you a lot of time and make breadcrumb management on your site actually bearable. So I'm on Drupal.org. It's path underscore breadcrumbs. You can see there's a couple images here that give you br a little bit of brief information on the module and we'll walk you through different pieces on how to set it up. We'll go through a very simple example right now. So I'm on my test site. I'm going to go ahead and hop down into the command line and go ahead and download the path underscore breadcrumbs module you will need to make sure that you have the ctools module installed if you do if you do not then you'll have to go ahead and get that installed so I will scroll down and find the path breadcrumbs module you can see I do not have the ctools module yet so I'll have to download that as well and so I'm going to go ahead and enable ctools path breadcrumbs and path breadcrumbs UI So if I refresh this page, come down to the bottom, you can see that the Path Breadcrumbs UI and the Path Breadcrumbs module has they've both been turned on. So one thing you can do that's really cool with this is it it's you allows you to export your breadcrumbs and it says it integrates in with features and C tools to make it easily transportable and exportable between different Drupal websites. So that's of course a plus. We can go over the permissions, but we'll skip that for now, and we'll click right on the configure. If you're familiar with panels at all, you'll notice that the building this out is very similar to how you'd build out, you know, say a mini panel or even some things within some of the settings pages within panels. So it should be somewhat familiar. It's a pretty usable interface, so it should be pretty easy to get the hang of. What it allows you to do is it allows you to set different rules I guess you can say not, not technically rules but different uh, s selection criteria for when specific types of breadcrumbs should be displayed on the website so in this example let's consider that maybe we have a somewhat complicated website in which there's going to be two sections we could want maybe a section for articles and so we may have you know a home page and then there's a there could be a link to an articles page which would just be a view listing all the articles on the site and then there could also be of course the articles node page and that's where we're going to want this breadcrumb to display but we could also have maybe it's a port there's a portfolio section so it's the same thing there's a portfolio link a, por a portfolio view listing a bunch of portfolio content and then the portfolio node page so you, you could see that on the articles individual node page we would want that breadcrumb to link back up to the articles view so I'll go ahead and show you what the default is here so I'm going to create a test article just 
just add some content in there and I'll save it and you'll notice here's the breadcrumb it just links to the home page now let's assume I did have a link here that said articles and it just was a view listing all the articles on my site we want it to make we want to make sure that anytime we're on an article page the breadcrumb says home articles and then gives us the title of the actual article we're on so how do we do that well we are going to use the path path breadcrumb module to make that happen so we'll come back in to the configuration page for path breadcrumb and we're going to create a new path breadcrumb we're going to call this just articles and now we have to specify the path if this was a one specific page we would just put it in here but in this case we want node slash percent node and this percent node is you can think of this as a placeholder it allows you to specify a context if, if you're familiar with panels and ctools you'll know what that means but basically anytime if you were on a node slash node ID page which if you come here to this test article you'll notice this is node slash two so this would match that this criteria here we want this breadcrumb to be triggered so we're gonna hit save now we get to specify what type of context this is and in this case this is going to be a node we're actually on a node page so the type of context is going to be a node you could build of course breadcrumbs around comments files usernames your user entities excuse me but in this case it's going to be a node ID that's going to be passed in and what this node ID is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to pull out different variables from that specific node like the node title for instance or the node URL so we're going to leave this context identifier the same we'll hit finish so now that we have the arguments selected we'll hit continue and now we can select selection rules in this case we only want this to work or this breadcrumb to show up if it's on an article node page so we're going to look down here and find node type we're going to click that and click add and we want the node type to be article so we don't want a basic page or a listing node to show this breadcrumb and there's a whole bunch of other types of selection rules that you can select from but in this case we're just going with the node type we're going to hit continue and we want to prepend the home link so we want to keep that on there and now we build out the structure the first one we're going to want is our articles listing page and just keep in mind this do this view doesn't exist but let's just assume I created a view or a page that listed all of the articles on the site and it was at this articles path it doesn't exist but it's going to work just fine so we hit add more and the next piece that we want is we want the actual title of the article to show up so we're gonna click on substitutions and we're going to scroll down and find percent node title which is going to be the title of the node we're going to place that in here and for the path we're going to go ahead and use none with a little less than greater than bracket signs there and this is going to show that title but not actually make it linkable so we're going to finish this and now you can see we have our one breadcrumb we can of course add a whole bunch more depending on how big our site's going to be but the results are if you come back to the home page click on your article you'll see the breadcrumb has now been transformed however if you come back to another content type you'll notice that there is not uh, the, your breadcrumb rule is not applying there which makes it very uh, dynamic depending on the different types of content you're displaying on your site so what we're going to go over last just real quickly is we're going to go over the other configuration options so if you come back to the configure page and you go to path breadcrumb settings you'll notice you can specify the delimiter so we can make this just 
a greater than sign here. We can also use rich snippets. So let's go ahead and select microdata. There's a couple other things you can set here. You can, if you want to default the home breadcrumb to show up, you can give it a title. You can turn it on or off. We're going to hit save. You can notice that the breadcrumbs have already changed up here. If we come back to our test article, you'll notice there's a different delimiter here. And if we hover over one of the breadcrumbs, you'll notice you'll see this item scope, item type, breadcrumb, which is the microdata that's be now been applied to the actual breadcrumb here. So as you can see, this is an incredibly useful module. I just found out about it thanks to a recommendation uh, on the CodeKarate.com website. Someone you contacted me on the contact form, so thank you for that because this is a module that I'm definitely going to be using quite frequently from here on out. And I suggest you give it a try and see what you think. Thanks for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal, and we will be back again tomorrow with another episode. Until next time.